Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to exposing first Crackendy API endpoints, uh, which will uh, getting uh, data from the backend and it will expose to the client side. So let's uh, quickly overview the Kraken JSON file which I have created. First is the schema, and the second is the version, the API Crackendy version, which is very important. And third is name any name you can pass here it will be used in telemetry purposes for analytics in the future so for logging or api endpoints how much time it takes etc so the timeout uh, will take how uh, much time it will take uh, the api uh, request to be completed and the cache detail will cache the header uh, for the specific uh, duration and that is important one is port uh, any port you can assign like 8080 or whatever you assign make sure it is not con uh, engaged or used anywhere so and the next option is extra config if any uh, I have passed router return error message true uh, it means that if there is an er error in configuration it will throws error to the client on the browser side uh, instead of logging into the console so the next is important part is endpoints here you can define endpoints these are the client side endpoints which will access uh, client on to consume the api uh, like if we have a two urls of uh, uh, there is uh, we imagine that this is the backend url like posts it will give us all the post data it's actually a backend url right so when client accessing it will not access that one it client will access their specific one like it will access localhost colon 8080 slash uh, api kraken or posts that could be the url uh, where user can get the data not from that one so we will now I'm going to remove it uh, just for the illustration purpose now the next point is endpoint uh, now method which will important to know uh, which uh, method it is a post request or a get request or a port request which request you have uh, and the next there is uh, extra config uh, inside the endpoints you can uh, individually assign, uh, pass extra config for a specific endpoint as well uh, right now I have written chorus for security it will uh, allow uh, asterisk means for all origin if you have specific IP you can pass like that and uh, any IP you f want to specifically uh, allowing to access that specific uh, client so you can pass here also there is allowed method I have passed here three you can uh, pass a put or any delete anything you want as well also exposing header content length these are the specific header formats also uh, the important one is max age uh, the request uh, uh, timeline uh, maximum age would be 12 hour and uh, allow, allow credentials if there is any credentials for the specific endpoints to authorize then access that spe uh, specific endpoint then you can pass here also there is a debug feature if you can uh, pass as a true it will prompt the debugging console related information inside the uh, console uh, the, the last and important thing about backend like if your client hit the request let me close that specific part so you can if client uh, get the request for that specific point then that endpoint will be called and its response will be stored and uh, this end client endpoint will receive a specific data from the client so if you will see that uh, uh, endpoint or backend inside the browser you can see lots of data of post from the backend side api endpoints now let's consume that uh, for that purpose you can just assign uh, place a host domain there and the url pattern uh, you can pass here like the endpoint was posts you can cut the post over there and pass it is uh, inside the url pattern if there was any api v1 uh, slash something you can pass over there as well so for now let's leave it as a posts 
of next is uh, there is a docker file uh, which uh, uh, pulling images of kraken d configuration and uh, the next one is it's copy kraken json file it means that these kraken json file will be copied and it will push it to the uh, copy it to the uh, container config inside the kraken a folder of uh, ATC and that's it it will copy uh, uh, from our locals to replace it here so that's it so let's get started uh, by creating a docker image docker run make sure docker is running like I have already uh, it's running in my system so docker build dash dot for current directory dash t for tag api gateway v1 i have entered it and it will creating a build after that we will run that specific uh, tag of docker so uh, the build process completed now let's docker run it for interactive minus p for port i will assigning 9000 because i have already uh, here mentioned in the port that 9000 i will be mapping so on the next 9000 and put a caller after that i will pass that api tag so api dash gateway v1 and i will put enter so it will now listening to the port 9000 so let's check the health first local host instead of 8080 i will now pass 9000 and enter uh, it gives me a status of okay it means our api endpoints working properly now let's check uh, the endpoint of client which is api crack candy on posts let's paste it and this will take a few seconds and type map string to this it means that there is an error of output encoding format extra config output encoding i will post no opt and then restart the build process quickly rebuild it now run it again now hit the browser now you can see the specific endpoints so that's it thank you so much for watching we have exposed our first uh, cracking the api endpoints which call the backend and we will receive the response on the client side thank you so much for watching see you on the next video of resolving tcp connection refused issue on local host so see you in the next video